All right, guys. Continuing on with the 2200 PSI 1.9 gallon per minute motor. I couldn't find a a one. What is it? 1.9 gallon per minute pump. Well, I could, but they're really expensive, like 300 bucks. So I just did the standard 2.2 gallon per minute pump. And you know what? Up here, that's one of my major complaints. I had to wait two weeks for it to come on. Uh, and I ordered it online. Wow, wow. Wine, wine. But here it is. what I was hoping for. All right, now I'm gonna just put, put the doodads on the end of this. Gotta think about this now. All right, so this goes on first. I'm going to quick connects for the hoses, eh? So that'll go on there like that means then that that will go on there like that and we'll have a quick connect on the end of this like I said in the other video my pal and I are partners in a really expensive one but it it's uh, spending some time over at, at his house it's playing over there When you roll these, you roll the thread, the uh, thread sealer or Teflon tape in the direction of the thread. And you make sure there's no interruptions in the, at the hole. And I always use a little more than I should. Excuse me guys. And that's it for the pump, except for some anti-seize in here when I put it on the on the pump. Good. Okay. Little sandpaper on the shaft. And a little anti-seize. Are you with me right over here? You don't use much of that, but I tell you, especially on pressure washers, when uh, you go to take the pump off, you'll be darn glad that you or somebody before you put anti-seize on there. I'll just put a little bit in the shaft hole. And they're dissimilar metals too, right? So. in the keyway too. There we go. Problem solved. All right, so now I just want to remove this last nut on here. Well, I should have it now. I should be able to lean it back. And took the last bolt. But this last bolt has some 
corrosion on it. So I'm just going to clean it up on the on the uh, wire brush grinder, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm just tightening up the bolts and nuts now. Finger tight first, and we'll give it a jiggle. Now look at my new my new quick release doesn't come past the end. That's marvelous. It's marvelous. Good. Okay, so now I just have to get this ready to tighten it up. All right, we'll get one of them fairly tight, and then we'll go back and do the other three. I'm doing this strange position so that you guys can see. And then one more on the other side. And I don't think I'll have to deform myself to get at that one. That's pretty much how it came, except I got a new pump on there with a quick with a quick release for the hose. All right, this hose is about 25 to 30 feet long, and it reaches to the other end of the shop, which is 26 feet. So now I'm just putting a three quarter inch. No, a 3 8 adapter onto this. And then we'll uh, tighten it up. That's 7 sixteenths to... It's the one thing about pressure washer stuff, man. Uh, measurements are all over the map. I think that's going to work. Some more Teflon tape on here for the quick connect that goes onto the wand. Probably $20, $25 to set this up, and it's worth every cent. I wonder if I can just turn this into rice. And that saves torquing on the uh, brass ending. Bada bing. So now let's do the other end. Are you guys with me? Barely, eh? More time. Like that. Use the vise again. Now, this is the extruded 3 8 pipe adapter. Okay, barring any leaks. Isn't that cool? put this over here and now we're going to work on the wand. <clears throat> so, complete gun kit fits any pressure washer up to 2900 PSI. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I know I put things together tight but I've learned over time to not over tighten. There we go. You can see this. Sometimes I'll do 15 minutes in front of the camera and nobody can see anything. Okay, so that's ready for the hose. And this is actually a pretty nice quality wand. Ah, I knew something was up. Let's put it in 
not coming apart. Nice. All right, guys, this is why we're doing this. This is the high pressure output. Like that, and then you get also a swivel. So if you're, if you're, you get a loop in the rope, it'll straighten out. Okay, I'm just gonna go turn the water on and we'll start her up. Okay, you squeeze the end until the water comes out. Right? You see that? Then we start her up. On. Prime. And of course the garbage truck's here. Turn down the volume. Yes, the pump's a little too big for the motor. So now we're going to adjust it. I knew that was going to happen. Allen key. I'm going to go a half a turn. And I'll start there. Let's go a whole turn. We'll just leave that like that and we'll start it up. I keep forgetting about that switch. I think that's close. It's hard on an old guy's knees, eh? So we're going to tighten this and hold this at the same spot. Kind of like a rocker arm adjustment. And that's it. Let's try it again. Okay, if you guys haven't gotten sick from that, there we go. All right, okay guys, I'm uh, I'm caving. I'm not a big fan of these quick connects, but for something like this, uh, I'm gonna leave this on here, and then when I'm not using this hose, because I like to put my thumb on the end of the hose like that, but I can just leave that connected right to the uh, pressure washer when I'm not using it. And we have no farting around. That's as bad as my language gets online. Okay, there it is. I finished my yard maintenance and uh, I got quick connects on both the high and low pressures. Let me see. The wand goes in and it doesn't drag on the ground. Right there, see that? And uh, my hose just wraps up nicely. And it even fits into this cup there, and I'm going to be able to hang it. Uh, I think where that hand truck is. 